New this morning, Swiss Bank UBS completing the takeover of its rival Credit Suisse. It's an historic transaction. Joining us right now in an exclusive interview this morning is UBS's CEO, Sergio Armadi. It's uh, great to see you this morning. Uh, you were drafted, uh, as we all know, back into service uh, to oversee what has been, as I just described, an historic transaction in Switzerland, but frankly, uh, around the globe when you think about banking. Um, put it in perspective for us, and, and I'm so curious just on a personal level before we get into the details about being drafted back into service and whether you really wanted to do this. Yeah. No, yes, thanks for having me. Um, well, actually, it was a little bit of a mix uh, between, uh, you know, loyalty to UBS and to the country, but also I always felt that uh, the next natural step for UBS was to be part of a broader consolidation. Of course, nobody wanted this to happen in this way, but uh, now we are here, and so I think that's... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm very motivated to, together with my team to make it a, a great success over the next couple of years. What does this combination look like to you? And, and how do you now think about this bank on a relative basis to, frankly, the U.S. banks and other European banks uh, as well? Well, look, you know, of course, is that the complication is that we have been competing fiercely for 150 years. Now we are all together. We are one team. And this will allow us to compete better, to serve our clients better. And uh, in a sense, uh, from our standpoint of view, we don't really look at uh, U.S. competitors versus uh, <clears throat> European competitors or Asian competitors, but rather what we do, how we do it. Uh, we are, uh, uh, in terms of size, number 21 in the world, even post uh, at this combination, but uh, we are the only bank uh, at with this kind of magnitude and size and scope that is focused on wealth management. And this is our characteristic. Uh, through, th through the combination, we will be able to serve uh, uh, clients across the globe in Latin America, US, we are very present already, but also very complementary in Europe and Asia. Uh, there's a lot been written about the, very, the, the, the culture the cultures of UBS and in Credit Suisse, and frankly, how different they are. What have you found? Well, look, you know, uh, I, I think that at the end of the day, uh, you know, the culture uh, uh, is may be different, but uh, I do think that there are many, many elements that makes us closer than uh, than, than people think. Uh, you know, of course, uh, we all had our ups and downs uh, over the history over 150 years. I think is, uh, you know, I'm pretty convinced that uh, our new colleagues. Uh, at, uh, at, uh, from CS will uh, uh, embrace the way we operate and will find it at the end of the day very similar. Of course, we need to make sure that we don't uh, uh, fall back into any uh, uh, bad habits or, or do things the wrong way. But I think that in that sense, we have very clear view on how to uh, manage the integration. It's a UBS-led integration. We're going to use our processes and uh, and, and, and I'm convinced that, like we did at UBS, we will be able to restore confidence and uh, proud of people to work for uh, the combined organizations. There's been some concern about uh, some of the talent uh, fleeing. As you know, uh, in the banking business, uh, as they say, the talent uh, goes up and down the elevators and, and through the door every single day. What do you have to do to keep those uh, who may be uh, anxious or on the fence about where this is all headed? Well, first of all, of course, we are always sorry to see maybe talented people leaving. In other cases, people were anticipating uh, probably uh, the inevitable restructuring uh, that we will need to go through and, and decided to, to go. Uh, what we are explaining is our equity story and what we stand for short, medium to long term. Uh, uh, it's fair to say that uh, many people, uh, the vast majority, do understand that we're going to be a better place to work a better place to serve our clients. And uh, and in fact, you saw that recently we were even able to attract uh, 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 talents from the outside after the announcement, uh, which uh, is a confirmation that, uh, uh, you know, what, what we have on the table here is something that is likely to offer uh, unique uh, uh, opportunities, uh, uh, again, for careers and for people to grow. The Financial Times has a story this morning about what they're calling a red line uh, that you have created or that the firm has created around uh, certain countries, uh, certain types of clients that you uh, don't want to do business with that, that, in truth, Credit Suisse used to do business with. How have you developed that red line? Can you, can you speak to that? Well, we have developed that red line, which I wouldn't really call it red line, over the course of the years. This is simply what I mentioned before. We are introducing our processes, our operating model into Credit Suisse, and uh, 
is not meant to be discriminatory or or any or any other things than what it is uh, is we are just basically introducing our operating model